Well, today marks a grim anniversary in the Middle East. It will be one year since the shocking Hamas terrorist attack on Israel. Two on your side's Chelsea Swift joins us live from Delaware Park, where Jewish residents are gathering for a call to action. What's this about, Chelsea? Mary Alice, that's right. I'm here at Hoyt Lake where dozens of people gathered for a religious ritual and a call to action. They're calling on Congress to stop arming Israel. Tomorrow marks one year since the Hamas terrorist attack that killed more than 1,000 Israelis and reignited the conflict between Israel and Palestine. A group called Jewish Voice for Peace has organized a religious ritual and call to action joining Jewish people across the country who are asking that the U.S. stop arming Israel. They're calling on elected officials in Congress to support proposed legislation that would prevent $20 billion in military aid to Israel. We spoke with the president of the Buffalo Jewish Federation about their hopes for the future. Work to sustain um, a safe place for Jews to live in this world. And that's what Israel uh, provides. The state of Israel is critical in its existence, um, but also it is important that the hostages get released and there could be peace in the region. Across the country, there are thousands participating in pro-Palestine protests worldwide on the eve of October, that October 7th attack. Now coming up at 11 o'clock tonight, you'll hear from people he here about why they attended this religious ritual and what this grim anniversary means to them. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Mary Alice. Chelsea Swift reporting for us live. Thank you, Chelsea.